Smith and Nelson in the morning on 94.9 KISS FM. That is country leader 94.9 KISS FM. Smith and Nelson in the morning. Another one cracking the 90 degree mark today. High of about 91, 92 for Missoula. Going to be a little different tomorrow. Upper 70s. Yeah. But then we start ramping back up. Through the end of the week, into the weekend, with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 80s again by the time the weekend rolls around. Weather for your morning brought to us by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. That's right. If you've been in an accident, don't go it alone. Call your local Advocates Injury Attorneys. They take the stress away, deal with the insurance, and get you the settlement you deserve. They don't get paid until you win. Call the Advocates today at 406-640-4444 or MontanaAdvocates.com. Cool to see the uh, Missoula Marathon back in action over this last weekend. First time in a couple of years. And if you've ever thought of doing the marathon, but uh, that's just kind of scary. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so much. Right. I mean, you know, I like I, I've wanted to kind of get into running, but every time I like try to run, I'm like, oh, man, this is the worst. Why would I do this to myself? <laughs> I'm reminded immediately why I Exactly. Don't. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, here you go. You can walk. You can run. Or you could waddle, it says. There you uh, go. With the Lard Butt 1K. <laughs> it's back for the uh, the second go-round. They did this back in uh, 2019. Yes. It was the first annual back in 2019. Right, and then, of course, 2020 happened, so it couldn't happen that year. And 2021, still up in the air. So this is the second time they've done it. And basically, it is, uh, it is what it says. It's a 1K, but then the fun of it is, uh, as part of it, you got donuts every 250 meters. <laughs> And it says uh, part of the part of the recap of the or the write up of the event says it would replace timing chips with chocolate chips. There you go. So it's all about going out and having fun. There's a uh, there's beer. Yeah, there's a beer garden before and after the one k. It's like stocked on uh, both ends of uh, both ends of the race. You got beer on both ends, donuts in the middle. Uh, what what could be better? Right. Um, this looks pretty fun. This is this is this is for anybody that wants to get out and uh, be part of some sort of a running event. But you don't want to put the effort in. Yeah. You don't want to put the time in. You don't want to put the training in. I mean, it's, it could take months to train for something like the Missoula Marathon, you know? Years even. But you, you feel so good, though, like the day after when someone's like, what would you do for the weekend? Oh, I ran this race. Yes. Kind of wore me out a little bit. But you don't have to say what race yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Just keep, <laughs> keep it generic for sure. <laughs> uh, I ran in one of those races. Something K? I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, you're stopping for donuts every few. Uh, <laughs> every couple of yeah. meters. <laughs> Uh, different levels of it. You got the show off wave. It says people that actually want to run. That uh, says just be warned there'll be lots of heckling during the waves. <laughs> so if you're going all out with the effort, right, be prepared for people that are giving you a hard tossing time. tossing donuts at you on the way. The legends wave. Everyone over 250 pounds. Nice. The waddlers wave for those under 250, and then you got the kids dash, kids 10 and under. So this is, it seems like it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. It's going to happen uh, July 23rd, Silver Park. If you get uh, signed up, 30 bucks. What, uh, you get a T-shirt. What else you got? It's you all, got an entry, a T-shirt, a free drink, and some other food uh, for 30 bucks. And then the price goes up to 40 the week of the event. So if you want to do it, uh, probably a good idea to register now. It's not bad for 30 bucks. Yeah. yeah. One, you just get to go have the fun with it. But then also a T-shirt, free beverage, some food. Yeah, it's less of a race and more like a big party that'll be happening yes. kind of in Silver Park. Yes. <laughs> just kind of also throw a uh, – attach a race to it. Yeah. But it is for a good cause because it's also kind of like a, a food drive. At the same oh, cool. Time. So, you, yeah, bring uh, canned goods and it all goes to a good cause and have a little bit of fun. And there you go. It's kind of kind of cool looking at the video from the first one a few years ago. Uh, kind of They kind of encourage kind of costumes and dress up. Nice. Just kind of, kind of loose and having a bunch of fun. So. Yeah, and it's people like of all sizes that are there. It's not like, you know, the biggest people, uh, uh, just them. You know? No. It's, it's, it's anybody. It's, it's all inclusive. It's a mix, yeah, for sure. Well, it looks like a, a fun time. July 23rd, Silver Park. You want to get in on the second Lard Butt 1K hitting Missoula. We've got all the details for you with your KISS FM mobile app. Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. If you get in newsy and noteworthy, and it's now on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, this is what's newsy and noteworthy for your morning. And this is a crazy story. Some woman just posted on TikTok that a guy in her Southwest flight airdropped a picture of his private parts to everyone on the plane. Oh, yeah. With hap- the airdrop? Yeah, with oh. the airdrop. So just everybody got it. <laughs> Happened on a flight from Detroit to Denver on Saturday. Uh, he's uh, probably in his <laughs> 60s or 70s. A uh, woman who posted it was the one who called him out, told a flight attendant about it. She was in his row, but across the aisle a few seats away. Uh, so she actually chose to accept the airdrop. Uh, the flight attendant asked him if he sent the photo. He's like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> Just having a little fun. 
Uh, so, yeah, cops are waiting to escort him off the plane as soon as it lands. <laughs> so was he trying to sound if he's trying to send someone else? Yeah, he not. That that by accident? Sounds oh, like uh, he did it on purpose. Just threw it out there for everyone to see. And how would the lady know that it was him? Uh, I believe his face was in the photo. Okay, so yeah. it just a picture. Yeah, that. exactly. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. It's a weird one. Uh, this is a fun one. The Drinks Business website says that uh, Breaking Bad stars Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. They're uh, showing up at different Costco stores around the country and uh, kind of promoting their Mezcal brand. Okay. Dos Hombres. So they're showing up like they're uh, sample giver outers. Gotcha. So they're even wearing name badges. Says Brian and Aaron on nice. them. Nice. Just hanging out. How fun is that? That's how, pretty awesome. How great would that be just to stumble into them? Like, <laughs> and like Brian Cranston's here. A hairnet on? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh, Walter White. Uh, American Ninja Warrior could be headed to the Olympics. Uh, the Japanese company that invented the Ninja Warrior franchise announced yesterday the obstacle course could become a part of the modern pentathlon at the 2028 Summer Games in Los Angeles. I was pentathlon made up of five events that uh, are fencing, swimming, equestrian show jumping, laser pistol shooting, and running. Uh, but they say they might replace the equestrian portion with the Ninja Warrior course uh, after the 2024 games. Wow. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Going yeah. From a TV show to an Olympic event. Definitely, yeah. Amazon Prime Day. It was. It used to be like one day. Yeah, now it's like a month. And then they added another one. It was like, <laughs> wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. Two days, but you're still calling it Prime Day? Right. And then it turns into like a week of savings. and uh, apparently, they're saying Amazon plans to hold a second Prime Day event later in the year. It's going to be the first time that they've done two shopping events exclusively for Prime members in the same year. The Prime Fall Deal event. It ah. doesn't have an official date yet, but they say uh, it's coming. All right, there it is. Uh, mayor in Australia spent some time on Thursday talking to the families of drunk driving victims. And then about an hour later, she uh, drunkenly crashed her car into oh, a tree. man. Yeah, no, that not a great look. Uh, <laughs> so... She told the family she was committed to making the road safer, uh, but she was a few drinks in when she said that. Uh, she, uh, luckily, she just hit a tree. No one was hurt. Uh, she later apologized, saying it was a serious error of judgment, and she is deeply regretful. But she's also uh, refused to resign. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, not, uh, not the best timing there. No, definitely not. Story yesterday from Forbes. The man who founded Ray-Ban, Oakley, and Sunglass Hut. Leonardo DiVecchio died yesterday at 87 years old. I thought you were about to say it was Leonardo DiCaprio. No, like, no. Wow. <laughs> uh, but Ray Ban and Oakley, you think like, oh, these two big competing Right. Brands. Yeah, he makes money from all of it. And Sunglass Hut, throwing yeah. that in there too, yeah. <laughs> Passed away yesterday at the age of 87. He's worth $24 billion. Man. His estate will be split among his six kids. The irony of it all, yesterday was National Sunglasses Day. Oh, man. What a uh, what a fitting ending. Absolutely, yeah. For what I would uh, assume is the godfather of sunglasses. That's, he's got to be, he's right? Gotta be, right? <laughs> uh, there you go. A little bit of irony for you. And that is what's newsy and noteworthy for your morning with Kiss. This part of Smith & Nelson in the Morning, brought to you by Hunter Bay Coffee, Montana's premium gourmet coffee roaster. Nelson, Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. You can listen along with your free KISS FM mobile app as well. And there from your app, you will find stories uh, as they relate to the 4th of July, which is coming up fast. That's right. And uh, 4th of July, it's going to be kind of weird in Missoula this year because uh, the 4th Fest at the Southgate Mall not really going to be happening. It's going to be a little more low-key for sure. It's kind of a, it's just part of a lot of people's plans. Either go to 4th Fest. And then do the fireworks, or just kind of make your plans to find a spot to set up shop yeah. for just the fireworks. So you can see the fireworks from some other place in town, yeah. Uh, and that's just not going to be a thing this year for the 4th, which is kind of a bummer. We've talked about it a couple times, just not really sure exactly what's behind it. There was yeah. a, a note from the mall saying it's a uh, temporarily... It's it's temporarily postponed, which right. makes us hope, well, next year it'll be back, right? Yeah, hopefully. Question, question mark? Or they're planning on doing, like, September or something. Uh, but there's been, there's been a lot of stories about places around the country that are actually doing away with their fireworks shows. A lot of staffing shortages, a lot of supply chain issues, all that kind of stuff. I was reading one this morning where there's kind of multiple places that, because the weather's been so dry for them, that they're doing away with theirs because they just don't want the, the chance of fires or anything. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, so no fireworks over at the mall and uh, nothing going as far as, you know, kind of the activities for the day that they usually have. Yes, uh, but there is going to be a 4th at the Forts. Fort Missoula will be doing their party kind of during the day on the 4th. Which, which is supposed to be back to kind of a uh, full-blown thing this year. Yes, absolutely. 
Still had it last year. Of course, everything was canceled in 2020, but they had it last year. A little, little watered down. I don't think they did the live music portion. So. Right. This year, it's like fully back to normal. Live music, games and stuff for the kids. They'll have food trucks, cold beer, displays. Uh, hey, mini ponies. Hey. If it's not if it's not worth it for anything else, check out the miniature pony. There you go. The kids will love that. Yes. Uh, a bunch of stuff with 4th at the Fort. And then uh, how about this? You could start your weekend with fireworks coming up on Friday night. Yeah, if you want to see fireworks in Missoula, this is probably your best bet. And that would be over at the uh, Paddleheads game on Friday night. They're doing their fireworks night. And uh, always a big night and kind of, you know. Expecting there probably be a pretty good crowd on Friday night. Yeah, so definitely. Maybe you want to get your tickets locked down. You jump on those and get them early. Always one of the uh, the big nights of the year where they do three, four fireworks nights through the season. Right. But when you kind of kind of tie this one into the time of year and have it on the start of basically Fourth of July weekend, a uh, place people want to be for sure. All right, tickets for the game, you can still get them. We've got the link for all that. Plus, we have details uh, with Fourth at the Fort. You can kind of check out everything that's happening with that. And all you got to do is poke around a little bit using your free KISS FM mobile app for those stories. 94.9 KISS FM. It's Odds and Ends with Smith and Nelson on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is. Some Odds and Ends for your morning. And the United Nations has named Jason Momoa as their advocate for life below water at the new UN Ocean Conference in Portugal, which, of course, Jason Momoa. Yeah. Plays Aquaman. Right, makes well, sense. Why would you not have him be this guy? Yeah, so he says, for me, the ocean is an ancient teacher, a guide, and a muse. It is also existential. And without a healthy ocean, uh, life on our planet as we know it would not exist. So Jason Moa is a uh, I'm not sure exactly what his duties yeah, what entail. Do you, I'm not sure what you do. <laughs> promote it, I guess. I guess promote the ocean, yeah. Uh, and also go see Aquaman 2 when it comes right. out in 2023. <laughs> uh, story about a better who just... Completed the parlay of a lifetime on Sunday night. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty cool story, just to give you this, the the small of it. Way back in December, guy uh, bet MGM customer got a $500 free bet and decided, hmm, I'm going to put it all on this three-team deal. I'm going to pick the Rams to win the Super Bowl. I'm going to pick the Golden State Warriors to win the NBA title, and I'm going to pick the Colorado Avalanche to win the Stanley Cup. Okay, all three of those things happened. Those three things happened, and it all ended on Sunday night when the Avalanche won the title. And that $500 free bet turned into a $269,000 payday. Oh, man. A free bet. Eh, give me these three. So they gave him like $500 in credit to bet on whatever he wanted. Exactly. And he put it all on this three-team Wow. Deal. Ended up paying $269,000. That is pretty incredible. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, infamously known for biting off a bat's head during a concert back sure. in the 80s. But now he's kind of grown into a, sort of an honorary like bat protector. Uh, he has applied to install bat boxes in his UK mansion to protect bats. Uh, basically, bat boxes are used to kind of keep bats and their babies, predators, and cold temperatures uh, in the night. Uh, so the UK home is going to be where he and Sharon are living permanently now. They're leaving L.A. after Sharon got booted from the talk. Uh, so they're going to be over there and uh, protecting bats while they're doing it. Maybe it's to protect the bats from himself. They, that could also be the thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, story it says, the producers of Jeopardy hope they will name the permanent host in the coming weeks. Oh, man. Executive producer. We're still doing this. Exactly. That's <laughs> that's the craziness that we're still talking about this. Uh, that's what I was going to say here at the end is the fact that this is still news. Yeah. And it's basically the same news. So the quote from the uh, executive producer says, We hope to have a hosting announcement very, very soon. But with all of our plans for Jeopardy, which is more Jeopardy, not less, more versions, we're going to need multiple hosts to represent the entire audience, to represent the entire country, in order to take the franchise forward. Man. It's, it's like the same news that came out. Like six like months, months ago. ago, yeah. I mean, they, they had the whole thing. I was like, oh, Ken Jennings and uh, and uh, Mayim Bialik. It's the, been the two, like back and forth between two of them. Like they've been kind of switching on and off. They said we'll split them, and then uh, you know one of them will do the the spinoffs. And so it sounds like the exact same news. Yeah, but for some reason, it's making news. Uh, I, I think it would be very funny if they announced a new host and it wasn't either of them. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be perfect. Curveball. <laughs> Uh, according to the American Farm Bureau Federation, the average 4th of July cookout will cost exactly $69.68 this year, uh, which is up, actually, from last year. Last year was fifty nine fifty. Oh, wow. That's kind of a big increase. Yeah. Uh, about a 17% increase, actually. And that's based on uh, different things like the cost of ground beef, which that's kind of the big one. That's up 36%. Uh, it costs chicken breast, hot dogs, chips, cheese, hamburger buns, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing is they're not including the cost of beer in here, and I feel like once you add that in there, that's going to double whatever uh, 
what your average price is yeah. here, I think, right? Gotta throw that in there. Yeah. Uh, some things that happened on this date. 1997, Mike Tyson disqualified during the title fight for biting off a chunk of Evander Holyfield's ear. Man. This date in 2007, Spice Girls con- confirmed they would reform for the big world tour they would do that following year. And then also this date in 2007, American Bald Eagle removed from the endangered species list. Hey, there we go. Cool thing there. Uh, birthday today. How about Mel Brooks, 96. Unbelievable. Get out of here. Still kicking. You kid me, 96. There you go. Odds and ends for your morning. It's Kiss. From the Carl Tyler Chevrolet Studio, we are Montana's country leader, 94.9 Kiss FM. Hey, Mel Davis, 94.9 Kiss FM. He was originally going to be part of that Dirk Bentley show when it was going to happen back in February. Right. Show pushed until September. Jordan Davis no longer part of it. Still waiting to hear uh, what's going on with the opening act. That is stuff. still TBD, yes. Uh, but Dirk Bentley, the Adam Center, details, concert page with your Kiss FM mobile app. From the app, we got a story there about uh, checking out this, this, this is a Seattle favorite coming back to town. I say back because uh, they've been a few times over the last year or so. Yes, yeah. I mean, you're from Washington. Have you had a uh, Piroshki Piroshki before? You know, I'm uh, I'm embarrassed to say. I guess that makes me like a a, a bad Seattleite <laughs> from my my days spent in Washington. And okay, I, I, n- I never have heard of it. Yeah, but uh, just. Nope, never have. I, I had heard of this place, too. And, I mean, we were in Seattle a couple weeks ago, my girlfriend and I. And so we were at Pike Place Market. Uh, we were kind of uh, we asked a friend who kind of used to live around in the area to get some tips and the best places to eat. And got a few places. I mean, we got me some pastry. We got Beecher's uh, Handmade Cheese. We went to the Pink Door. Um, but she also mentioned Piroshki Piroshki. And we uh, stopped by there swamped. I mean, there was, like, you know, 30 people just, like, all trying to get into that one, like, very small storefront. Uh, so it was kind of tough to get in. So we were like, well, okay. I mean, we, we don't have the time to kind of wait around. So I, I guess we missed our chance on Piroshki Piroshki. Put it on the list for the next visit. Exactly. But now they're coming to Missoula, <laughs> which is a pretty cool thing. And, yeah, they've come to town a few times before. But, uh, you know, whenever they come in, it's always like a big deal because it's like a one-day only thing. Yep. you got to order your stuff like way in advance in order to do it. Uh, but, uh, basically, they're going to be hanging out at Imagination Brewing on July 7th. Uh, so if you want some Piroshki Piroshki – uh, they, basically, you gotta like order stuff in advance. Like, go on their website and place an order for at least fifty dollars worth of stuff, and they will just kind of give it to you once you show up. Uh, somebody here in our building did it last time. I remember. Yeah, we were talking about it. They, they they said it was good. I've heard it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. heard it's great. I mean, you know, all those people like kind of swarming that building made me think like, okay, well, it's got it's got it's got to be good for something, I guess. Right? It's got to be good. It? You gonna place the order? Uh, we're thinking, yeah, maybe. I think I might do it. You know, just to, just to try it out. You know, I mean, I, I feel like it's it's a bit of a steep ask to like you know having uh, not had it before. Yeah. You know, fifty dollars worth of stuff. It's like okay, well, it's gonna be a few Piroshkis at least. Uh, so. But I'm mean, gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. I went as far last time as checking out the website and the menu and stuff, and there's you know different options. It looks good for yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, they are back. When is it happening? Uh, July 7th is the date that they're gonna be outside Imagination Brewing. Uh, that's one day only. You gotta get your orders in before July 5th. So that'd be Tuesday. Yes. Okay. All right. We've got details. Piroshki, Piroshki. Why you have to say it twice? I don't know. <laughs> it's the name so nice. You <laughs> say, say it twice. twice. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Details and uh, the links you can follow. Place your order. Have it all for you with your Kiss FM mobile app. When it's country in Lolo, it's Montana's country leader, ninety four nine Kiss FM. Craving a newsworthy nugget of the day with Smith and Nelson on 94.9 KISS FM. Brought to you by Farside Sign, Missoula's leading full-service sign and custom vehicle graphic shop. Farside Sign in the 2200 blocks of Avenue West. We try to find a fun fact, something that we uh, think would be newsy to a lot of people, and that's what we lay out there as our nugget every morning. Exactly. The Big Bang Theory. It's not just a TV show. <laughs> it's also the theory for the creation of the universe, all that good stuff. Uh, but did you know the term Big Bang Theory uh, was coined by a British scientist named Fred Hoyle in 1949? The twist, Fred Hoyle didn't come up with the Big Bang Theory. He was actually uh, trying to mock it. He disliked the idea of the Big Bang Theory. He hated it. Apparently, he was on uh, some radio show on the on the BBC in the 40s and, uh, you know, just uh, was reading off, like, his <laughs> opponent's debate thing and just... Offhandedly called it uh, some Big Bang Theory over here, uh, and people heard him like, "Wait, yeah!" And then that ended up uh, becoming the name, and it ended up being the popular theory for the creation of the universe. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Sarcastic, backhanded comment. Exactly. And it becomes what it's known for, and ends up becoming uh, you know the thing it is. Plus the hit TV show. So it's go. got that going yeah. for it too. Uh, need to or not? Now you know.